In this video, you'll learn how to set up advanced security rules, create and apply custom properties, and set up dynamic rules. You can set advanced security rules for your streams. For example, you want to give two external consultants access to the sales and consumer sales streams. Give a name and, if needed, a description to define the rule. Then select the actions that the consultants will be able to perform. In this case, you can create a security rule and select the Stream Access option from the drop-down menu, leave the condition name, and then select Sales Stream as a value. You can do the same for the other stream for which you want to give the consultants access, in this case, the Consumer Sales Stream. Now we can add another condition block. You have to change the logical operator to AND. Select User Directory from the drop-down menu. By selecting the consultants, you are giving these users access to the previously selected streams. Click on Apply to confirm your changes and open the Preview page to verify that the rule was created correctly. As you can see, the two consultants now have Read, Update, and Publish permissions to both streams. The rule that you've created permits the two consultants to access the sales streams that you created. If another sales stream is added later, the administrator will have to modify this rule manually. However, you can modify this rule to create a more flexible rule. By simply adding a condition that includes the asterisk wildcard to sales, the consultants will have access to any stream that starts with the word sales. Now, for example, if you create a new stream called Sales 2015, this will be automatically shown to the consultants. You can also add custom properties to allow you to use your own values in the security rules. When you create a custom property, you define one or more values for the property, which you can then use in the security rule for a resource. For example, we can create a custom property called Project and associate it with users and streams. First, select the stream Sales 2015 and then add the Sales 2015 project to the Custom Properties section. Repeat the same process for all the streams you want to include in this project. Then, navigate in the User page and add the project Sales 2015 to the custom properties of all the users that you want to add to the project. Once the project custom property is created and associated with resources, you can create a rule that allows a user with the project property to see streams that have the same project property set. You have to assign a name to your project and select the actions Read and Update. Then set up a condition for streams and users. This condition will allow any users to access any stream where the project property value is identical. When you click on Preview, you can see that the rule is configured correctly. You can also change the rule so that it allows any user to access any stream as long as the project name is the same. You have to edit conditions in the Advanced option to obtain a code like this. Click on Validate Rule to confirm that the rule is valid. And that concludes this video. Thanks for watching.